Hey, thanks for tuning in to Cigar Advisors Weekly, hashtag now smoking cigar review. If you find it helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. So this week I'm burning 20 Acre Farm by Drew Estate. Stay tuned to find out if it's a cigar worth smoking. So first, a few details about 20 Acre Farm. Now, it's made at Drew Estate's La Gran Fabrica factory in Nicaragua. It's a 6x52 Toro. It's medium bodied. It's got an Ecuador Connecticut shade wrapper, a Honduran sun-grown Habano binder, and then the fillers are from Nicaragua, the Esteli and Jalapa regions, and also U.S. Florida sun-grown. And that's a little bit to do with the backstory, so let's go ahead and talk about that. Now, the 20 Acre Farm gets its name from a Claremont, Florida farm growing that Florida sun-grown tobacco I was talking about earlier. Now, the farm, it's owned by cigar retailer Jeff Borshowitz, and he said in a press release, and I quote, As a premium cigar retailer for more than 20 years, I can't wait to offer 20 Acre Farm to my customers, and I'm looking forward to hearing what other premium tobacconists think of the cigar. Well, good news, Jeff. I'm going to do exactly that for you. Now, of course, even better news is that Willie Herrera is behind the wheel when it comes to blending. So from a tobacco standpoint alone, it already appears that 20 Acre Farm is stronger than your average Connecticut. Now, I'm intent on finding out, so stick around and we're gonna dive into the review and talk all about its flavor. Extra smooth up front. I'm tasting flavors of cedar, even some graham cracker, and there's a dusting of cinnamon and orange peel. Just like those tobaccos suggest, the blend is noticeably stronger than most Connecticut, so I, I was right in my assumption of that. But uh, the cigar, it's kind of medium bodied right down the center line though. So let's go ahead and skip ahead to 20 acres halfway mark or so and see how the smoke has evolved in flavor there. So as you can see, I'm about halfway through the cigar at this point. And about an inch or so back, it developed this sweet, almost creamy layer of vanilla. Now, mixed with the graham cracker and cedar notes, it almost gets this cookiness, this overall cookiness kind of flavor. Uh, and there are notes of warm spices and white pepper, and it's really robust, especially through that retrohale. So far, I'm really digging every minute of it, and so I'm going to meet you at the final third to see how 20 Acre burns toward the end, along with my final thoughts. Stay tuned. So, here in the final third, the 20 Acre farm is really at its sweetest yet. Not really much has changed as far as overall flavors, but it's smooth, creamy, and balances just enough white pepper and salty spices to keep my mouth watering. So I'd venture to say that this is one of the most memorable Connecticut's I've had since Steve Saka's brulee. It's almost what I'd expect a brulee to taste like if it were bolder. Uh, so to summarize, smoother, creamier, and peppers that pop. I really can't say anything short of that I'm loving it. And this cigar is kind of like the anti-Connecticut in a way. <laughs> Literally all of the benefits of a Connecticut with none of the drawbacks. No bitterness, no leathery flavors. I haven't been this impressed with one, like I said, since that brulee. So brass tax time, it's a bit steep price-wise, but not necessarily prohibitively. You're going to get a lot for your money here. So it's clear that this isn't some fly-by-night cash grab, nor do I think Willie would even put his name on one anyway. And pro tip, try it with chocolate milk. It's really a game changer. So remember, friends, 20 Acre Farm and more of Drew Estate's favorites are a click away at famous-smoke.com. Now, if you found this review helpful, please drop us a like, subscribe to the channel, and click that notification bell to be notified anytime that we release new video content just like this. I'm Jared Gulick with Cigar Advisor. Thanks so much again for watching and enjoying this review, and I'll see you all in the next video.